Meu Deus, esse homem é louco da cabeça. Solta a farinha, solta! Segura, foca, amor, foca, Would you feel terrified if you got trapped with countless snakes? What about getting trapped with just one massive snake? We are cranking this episode to the max and talking about the infamous anaconda. You may have seen the superstar snake in Anaconda 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So how big can an anaconda grow? Is it a myth or are they good swimmers? And what are some of the largest and deadliest animals anacondas eat? When you think about snakes, is the first thing that comes to mind their venomous bites? We aren't going down that road today. Instead, we'll concentrate on the boa family, particularly the green anaconda. Boas tend to be larger than most other snakes, and they're non-venomous. But don't feel relieved just yet. They catch their prey by constriction. I don't know which is worse, getting squeezed to death or dying from a venomous snake bite. You may think an anaconda suffocates its prey while constricting it, but the snake is overwhelming its prey's circulatory system. The prey's blood pressure decreases while the pressure on its veins increases. This slows its blood flow, stopping oxygen from reaching the prey's tissues and increasing the carbon dioxide in its blood. That causes cardiac arrest. Anacondas can sense their prey's heartbeat, so once the victim's heartbeat stops, the anaconda knows it's time to stop constricting and start feasting. Anacondas evolved this adaptation so they don't waste unnecessary energy. Well, we'd hate to see that happen. And they need to be efficient. The green anaconda is the largest and heaviest snake, but interestingly, it's not the longest. The reticulated python earns that title, But there's no denying it, green anacondas are enormous, growing up to six meters long and weighing up to 68 kilograms. And take a long look at them. They are wide. The largest anaconda ever recorded had a girth of 112 centimeters. It was also the heaviest recorded so far, weighing in at 136 kilograms. That is one sick serpent. Their bodies have evolved to thrive in the water. Their eyes and nostrils are on the top of their heads so they can sneakily look out of the water. Also, their skin is loose and soft, which helps them cope when absorbing water. You can outrun an anaconda on land as they slither around at eight kilometers per hour, but knowing they are just as happy in the water is a whole other ball game. They can swim at about 16 kilometers per hour so they can outswim you. And just to make things tougher for you, they can hold their breath for up to 10 minutes. Well, it was nice knowing you. So you can run from an anaconda, but you can't hide in the water. It can silently stalk you underwater and easily catch up to you with its slick swimming skills. These snakes don't only have eyes for you though. Anacondas have to eat some big prey to pack on that heft. Let's look at what's on the green anaconda's menu, shall we? Not surprisingly, anacondas are apex predators and eat pretty much anything that moves. They happily eat lizards, rodents, and fish. But do you know they will also take on capybaras and even jaguars? But the prey which probably packs the most punch is the caiman, another ferocious reptile. You might think an anaconda is no match for a foe of that size, and it's not guaranteed to win when taking on a caiman. But the reward must be worth it for some anacondas. เฮ้ยเฮ้ยลงมาลงมาลงมาเฮ้ยปลาคอก่อนมั้ยโอ้ยเออลงมาลงมาลงมาเฮ้ยปลาคอก่อนมั้ยโอ้ยเออมาแล
If you haven't had your fill of all things slithery, why not check out our episode on Snake Island? Loads of snakes there, though you might just regret going there. All right, get these snakes off the plane. Hold on, forget about planes. This is a whole island overrun by slithery serpents. And they're not common reptiles. One species is among the deadliest snakes in the world. So how did this island become overrun with snakes? And how many snakes inhabit the island? Welcome to Snake Island, or Ilia da Quemera Grangi. Let's just say you don't want to get shipwrecked here. Because there are snakes, a lot of snakes. Off the coast of Brazil is a small, unassuming island, but when you set foot on it, you will get a shock. Since 1909, humans have not lived on the island. The Brazilian government banned people from going there, except for some unfortunate Navy crews who must maintain the lighthouse every year. Myths and legends surround Snake Island. Some people have suggested pirates brought the snakes to the island to help protect their treasure. Treasure hunt! This idea seems a bit too Hollywood, even though I like it. But it does seem weird to have so many snakes on one island. Why are there so many? Well, thousands of years ago, the island was still connected to the mainland, and snakes could come and go as they chose. As sea levels rose, some snakes got trapped on the island, and after 11,000 years in seclusion, these reptiles evolved to be as deadly as they get. And there were no natural predators to prey on the snakes, so nature took its course, and the snakes took over the island. Also, as we see with other secluded island species, they tend to become unique. And Snake Island is no different, as its snakes are one of a kind. The golden lancehead is a type of viper that only lives on the island. And wow, does it pack a punch. It has one of the most deadly venoms ever recorded. They're closely related to mainland lancehead vipers, but the golden lanceheads adapted to life on the island, and their choice of prey is limited. Their main prey is birds, so the snakes learned to climb to reach them. That's not terrifying at all. Then the snakes ran into another problem. If they struck a bird and their venom was the same as the mainland lancehead viper, it wouldn't instantly affect the bird, giving it time to fly away. That was terrible for the snakes as they couldn't pursue their prey. So the golden lanceheads evolved a more deadly venom. It's so potent it can kill a human in one hour, if untreated. Imagine what that does to a small bird. Yep, you guessed it, instant death. Researchers estimate there are 2,000 to 4,000 golden lancehead vipers on the island. And they haven't even started counting all the other snake species. So who really knows what's on there? But show of hands who's interested in seeing a show called Snake Island where all the snakes try to get off the island every episode by making crazy things out of coconuts. But it looks like people are venturing out to the island anyway, and not for a good reason. Reports state that biopirates trap the snakes and sell them on the black market for more than $30,000. So snakes, which have called this island home for over 10,000 years, are threatened once again by humans. We just don't learn, do we? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Okay, 
ิบหนึ่งอันนี้เจ้าที่จับได้แล้วนะครับจับได้แล้วโอ้一百八万，我这八万，这囤的酱油了，七百咋过呢？这只羊要吐出来了，一百多斤的羊要吐出来了。我这这给他用了，这给他用了。那这个不太当他，我让他拖下去，下台。拖下去啊！我这个，哎呦！哎，这还要放那个，为啥子？If you think swallowing a handful of vitamins is uncomfortable, check out this python. That's one hungry serpent. Pythons can swallow their prey whole, no matter its size. Well, that's disturbing. If you have ophidiophobia, aka the fear of snakes, you might want to close your eyes and just listen. See what I did there? So, why do pythons eat this way? Do they unhinge their jaws when they do it? And can a python swallow a human? Pythons live across Africa, Asia, and Australia. Though they're not indigenous to North America, invasive species now live in Florida's Everglades. Have fun, Floridians. They prefer warm, humid climates. But they will inhabit a range of environments ranging from rainforests and swamps to dunes. There are about 40 species of pythons. Smaller species, like the anthill python, measure about 61 centimeters long. But the longest ever recorded was a reticulated python that measured 10 meters. That's longer than a stretch limousine. A uh, no, thank you. Pythons are ambush predators, while smaller pythons like the ball python feed on small rodents, lizards, and birds. Larger species eat monkeys, antelopes, and pigs. What? Pythons use their fangs to latch onto their prey's neck and shoulder region. Since these snakes are not venomous, they use constriction to kill by coiling around their victims until they stop breathing. A python can sense its prey's heartbeat. And once it stops, the snake stops squeezing. This is when things get freaky. When an animal dies, bacteria will make its body expand. Then it's even more difficult for the python to swallow its prey, so the snake must eat it as fast as possible. The story that pythons dislocate their jaws when they swallow their dinner is a myth. The truth is that their jaws have evolved flexible ligaments. So these snakes can open their mouths wider than their bodies and swallow prey as large as alligators. They've even been bold enough to attack big cats. In 2019, visitors on safari saw a giant python attacking a leopard in Kenya. Both predators had been stalking an impala, but the python decided to take a chance on the unsuspecting leopard. While the python did its darndest to constrict the leopard. The feline wriggled free from its grasp. While pythons have teeth that they use to bite, they don't use them for chewing. Instead, they rely on digestive enzymes to break down their food. And depending on the temperature of their surroundings and the size of the prey, it can take weeks just to digest one meal. During this time, they are bloated, sluggish, and vulnerable. Again, like me at Thanksgiving. But the caloric intake of that meal is worth the risk to the insatiable python. Although animals get fully swallowed, the python can still be vulnerable to attack. In 2005, rangers found a dead python with an alligator's tail bursting from its midsection. 
Scientists thought the alligator may have clawed its way out of the python's stomach. Jeez, nature is so hardcore. As you've probably guessed, if pythons can swallow alligators, they can swallow humans too. Though it's rare, I'm sorry to say it does happen. In 2018, an Indonesian woman went missing. She was last seen in her vegetable garden. A day later, a search party found her sandals and machete, and about 30 meters away was a giant, bloated, reticulated python. They killed the snake, and when they cut it open, they found the woman's body inside. Okay, that's terrifying. Regardless of their human-eating reputations, people still keep pythons as pets. You can find a ball python at almost any standard pet store like Petco. But if you decide to get one, do your research first. Many people who buy a small python don't realize how big it'll grow. Often when these owners no longer want to care for their pets, they release their pythons into the wild. This has caused a major ecological imbalance in places like the Everglades. The snakes become apex predators and disrupt the food chain. In 2021, the state of Florida organized the Python Challenge event and participants were encouraged to find and humanely kill Burmese pythons for cash prizes. According to the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, these snakes threaten human safety. It may sound cruel, but this is an unfortunate consequence of introducing an invasive species into an ecosystem. Often it's due to the exotic pet trade. Sometimes it's best for wild animals to stay in the wild. But pythons aren't the only reptiles clashing with humans. See how a Florida man catches an alligator with a trash can on another episode of Crazy Creatures. <laughs> <laughs>